good morning to everyone listening. For 29 days now, we have sought the face of God, and His grace and mercies have been more than sufficient for us. If anyone here is grateful this morning, can we just comment in the chat box and say, Thank you, Jesus? Let's just say, Thank you, Jesus, for your mercies that have been speaking over our lives. I would like to welcome you all to day 29 of When Mercy Speaks 2024. When Mercy Speaks is a 47 day virtual Lenten prayer powered by the Youth Fellowship of Cherubim and Seraphim Movement Church through Larry District Headquarters. Ionio. The program runs through 6.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. daily on Zoom, Mixella, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram at C and S Y F, and on YouTube at Youth Fellowship Ionio. Today we'll be looking at the scripture from the book of Fourth Kings, chapter 17, from verse 7 to 16. And our topic for today is from lack to surplus. From lack to surplus. Let us welcome our minister in person of Pastor Shola Orebi. Pastor Shola Orebi, over to you, sir. I bless the name of the Lord for the grace he had given every one of us to be jointed to the living. If it has not been God, in this situation and the circumstance that we are in, no one can say of his, on his own that he has been able to stand. Today, by God's grace, as God will grant us utterance into his word and the ability to pray deep into it, from lack to surplus. For the word of God says, my thought towards you, said they are thought of good. But one thing that God required of us is that we should listen to his voice. God instructing his servant that go to so so place, go to a widow which I have commanded to make supply. The Bible says in the in the in the book of that first Kings 17, verse 7, it said, When the brooks was dry, as a result of it not raining for some time, the Lord changed the location and gave a new direction to the man of God, wherein he will be fed. I pray today, when everything seems to be down, when there is a depletion, in wherein your source had been, the Lord will give you direction to go in the name of Jesus. I declare by the authority of the living God, the ability for you to comprehend by the leading of the spirit, the direction God wants to get you, that you might be rightly connected to your helper. The Lord will give you that listening air in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I want you to know that there is a realm for a new realm. Where God wants to take you, there is a remedy for that realm. Do not rely on the old. I want to I want to charge us that as we go in our journey, there is a direction God wants us to go. It is not based on our experience. And I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will order ourselves today in the name of Jesus to the right place, Amen. the next location for our provision and our promotion in the name of Jesus. As the Lord and the Spirit liveth. He said, there is a required direction for divine connection. <laughs> I tend to wonder, when God says the man of God should go to a widow, it doesn't matter what is the voice of the Lord saying today. I pray that you will not by your own self-thought or reasoning divert or uh, your, the, the direction that God wants you to go. As the Lord will lead you, you will go in the name of Jesus. And every mm. supply that the Lord has made available shall not elude you in the name of Jesus. I want us mm. to look further. He said, and the man got to the gate of the city without struggling, without straying about. He said, and he saw the woman picking the sticks 
I say, the Lord will order your step at the right time. At the entrance of the place of your provision, you shall meet your helper in the name of Jesus. He will not mm -hmm. elude you. You will not be confused. You will not be driven here and there. You will not suffer before the Lord will bring you to your helper in the name of Jesus. It is a new dawn. And we need to realize this, that instruction, instruction gives you life. The book of Proverbs chapter 4, verse 13 says, it said, hold fast on the instruction. It said, for she is thy life. I pray that every instruction that will be bet out by the word of the Lord, by the leading of the Spirit, you will heed it, the word in the name of Jesus. The same way he instructed Isaac. Isaac was like going in the way of his father, that my father went to Jera and went down to Egypt, but God instructed him. He said, Isaac, stay in Jera. He said, dear, I will give the countries to you. I pray in the name of Jesus. That instruction that will make you stand out. And people will say, how come you are not feeling what others are feeling? Because it is the word of God that you are standing upon. Because every other ground may be shaken. But when you stand upon the word of God, as you go today, by the leading of the word of God, I say, El Grand, the place where you shall be located, your Provision shall be made available in the name of Jesus. I want us to Amen. know this. In the place of your assignment, the location, the position where you need to be, that is where the provision is. And I pray in the name of Jesus, you shall not look away, irrespective of the circumstances, irrespective of the personality. What God instructed is I go to the widow. Somebody that ordinarily looks so feeble, somebody that tends to look like he needs help, but God said that is where the helper is. I pray you will not, it will not elude you, and you will not look down on that personality. You will not look down on that location wherein God says, Stand here and I shall bless thee. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Every mm. mindset. That have made you close your eyes to the place of your opportunity. I say such mindset, I rebook it in the name of Jesus. And I pray Amen. today that every fear that may emanate from what you are seeing, because the scripture says we do not live by what we see. We live by the word of God. We live by faith. He said that just shall live by faith. That required faith for you to enter into your surplus, for you to move from that obscurity into that enlightenment, into that greatness. I say the Lord will release unto you now in the name of Jesus. Brethren, Amen. I want you to encourage in the Lord. He said in his word, he said, and I will give you the listening ear with a heart that's hacking and to heed to the instruction of God for a better life. God thought towards us, he said, they are of good. And he, he said, I daily loaded you with benefits. The daily loading of benefit, that which is meant for this day. I say, he shall not elude you in the name of Jesus. Wherein God Amen. has made that provision, you shall not find your, yourself walking and miss or getting out of direction in the name of Jesus. Oftentimes, Amen. fear tends to set in our minds that how do I do this? Everybody complains. I pray that faith that overcome fear, the Lord will release unto you in the name of Jesus. Those Amen. people, the individual, the personality that the Lord has commanded and charged, as he told Elisha, uh, Elijah, he said, I have commanded the raven to feed you in the morning, in the evening. And in the same vein, when he changed the location, he said, I have commanded a, a woman, a widow woman. He said, it's in, it's in Sarafat. He said, in Sidon, the widow of Sarafat in Sidon. He gave him prescribed location. I pray in the name of Jesus, you will not fall into wrong hand. As the Lord is ordering you, it's today. You will go to the direction of your provision in the name of Jesus. And he says, mm -hmm. the barrel of your meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of your oil fail, until there shall be rain upon the earth. That place of your sustenance, 
where there will be sustenance, where you will have continuous replenishing supply. I say the Lord will put you there in the name of Jesus. In respect mm -hmm. for what is going on now, the Lord will protect you to the day of the abundance. You will be you will be fed and kept intact in the name of Jesus. And one thing I want to encourage mm -hmm. us, let us believe in God, for he is able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond what anyone can ever pray or ever ask for. And I want you to know, he said, at every phase, if you look at the way he was ordering the step of the prophet, he said, now go here, go there. At that point where there is that depletion, he said, in the voice of the Lord, the word of the Lord came unto him. Likewise, I pray for everyone here under this voice at every phase of your life encounter. The word of the Lord shall reach out unto you in the name of Jesus. That which mm. will give you the direction for your for your flourishing, for, for your operation, where no man will struggle with you. <laughs> Wherein you will see, enter into your rehoboth. Wherein you will say, God is with me. Because he said, I will be with you. Same way he told Isaac, he said, Stay in that land. He said, I will be with you. What matters is God's presence with you. As you go today, you will not go alone. His presence shall go with you. Everyone that will see you, they will say, "Ah, uh -uh, how do you mean? Do you think you can get this? He said, the Lord is with me. I pray in the name of Jesus. He said, the, the, the grace of his presence shall abide with you. Every noose and cranny, wherever you get to, your favor of the Lord shall speak for you. The mercy shall speak on your behalf. When mercy yeah. speak, gives direction. When mercy speak, he locates one aright. When mercy speak, he position one for blessing. I pray in the name of Jesus. Mercy shall speak for you. Mercy shall save you. Mercy shall sustain you. Yeah. Everything that is needed to get you in the right track, and you will not go out of His will. You will not do it in your own counsel. It shall be to the according to the counsel of the Holy Spirit, and so shall it be in the name of Jesus. He said, yeah. "Oh God." us to pray. I want us to pray. You are going to pray. Oh God, lead me to the divine prescribed location for my position. Where lies the provision for fulfillment of my giving vision? God has given you a vision. It is not just for one to beat about the bush. Oh, or for one to fight as one beating the air. I want us to pray. Lord, lead my step today. That I will not go into struggle with others. Wherein, oh Lord, you are prescribed. There is a prescription. God was so specific for the prophet. He said, go so, so place. In the first place, he said, go eastward. Hide yourself there. He, he hid the word of God and it was well with him. I want us to pray as well that, Father, the prescribed location for my positioning. There's a place where you will position yourself and you will not get suffocated. I want you to pray that, Father, that place where I need to be positioned, where I will not struggle, where men will not be able to overcome or contend with me, that ground wherein you have given charge for my sustenance. He gave charge for the sustenance of the, of the prophet that let it be. And the instruction was coming. I want us to pray that, Lord, lead me there. Then I want you to pray as well and tell God, Father, help me, O Lord, to run with your word. The prophet gave the woman and said, do this and let every other person after do this first for me. I want to pray that, o Lord, give me the faith, Baba, to, for me to operate and uh, to align with your will that there may be increase. I want you to pray to God that God, give me that grace to align by faith with your will, by faith with your will, that I will enter into abundance. When we talk about surplus, if I want to enter into surplus, even in the midst of, of want, even in the midst of lack, it takes a man that will be connected divinely. God, divinely connects me. There's a need for a divine connection. People will say, ah, ah, are you fearing in this dispensation, in this, in this situation? Because God is with him. If God is with you, you will get the right direction. If God is with you, you will hear the right instruction and you will take the right step. I want you to talk, talk to God. God, don't let me walk like a blind man. Father, give me all of divine revelation. Lord, I need the realm, Father, for, to attain the new realm in the name of 
Jesus. Lord, take me, oh Lord, to that place of convenience. There is a place of convenience. It is the will of God that you prosper. It is his will that we should do well. It is the will of God that we should, we should flourish. He said he's taught towards us our thought of good. It is the will of God that we should be the epistle that the people will read. That they will read the abundance and the riches of his glory round about us. That is the wish of God for us. So I want us to pray, Lord, when you are calling me, let me answer promptly. Oh Lord, let me take the right step as you have proposed and as you have planned. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that Father, I pray that new dawn it shall be unto me and a new testimony it shall be in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. As you will be taking the step of faith today, I said, new grants shall be opened unto you in the name of Jesus. I said, places Amen. where men have knocked doors, and they told them, no, we have closed, or there is no or there is no room. I said, they will say, we only retain it for you. And so shall be your testimony this day in the name of Jesus. In the Amen. midst of once, when men are saying casting down, I declare expressly unto you, you shall be saying a lifting up in the name of Jesus. In the Amen. midst of progression, that shall be progression. See, it is time for you to, to flourish because this day is the day of testimony. He, he said we are for signs and wonders and I say men are waiting. He said the creations are waiting. Your manifestation will spring forth in the name of Jesus. That mm. faith that which is required of you that for you to take that step of faith. I pray that the Lord will put it in your heart this day in the name of Jesus. You shall mm. encounter the new realm in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with your exploits, and everything you lay your hand upon, it shall prosper. You shall not find yourself wanting that which will bring a break, a, 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 a disappointment between you and God. You will not enter into it in the name of Jesus. I pray your heaven shall be opened. And there shall be abundant supply in the name of Jesus. Every man that shall see you today, they shall see you as a blessed person. And they shall say, can we align with you? And I pray in the name of Jesus, wherever and whoever aligns with you, they shall thank God for your life. Because your the partnership with you shall bring abundance. See, the woman said, he said, and the woman fed the, the, the prophet, he fed herself and her household. And I tend to wonder, I said, this woman had only a son that he was claiming, let me and me and my son eat and die. But at the long run, that means many people align with them. I pray in the name of Jesus. The, the blessing of God shall make you to make impacts in many lives in the name of Jesus. Uh, mm -hmm. That people will say that we never thought it could be this, it could be this better for this person. I say your testimony is changing. Your status is changing in the name of Jesus. Go mm -hmm. and enter into the realm of abundance. Go and do exploits. It is a new dawn. Along with your fear, you buy it. Nibiti and one in your sister, quick course, yeah, yeah. Along with your fear, you buy it. Only a woman can only shall I need a billet power. Only she want to talk back at the law. I pray in the name of Jesus. Your trust in the Lord shall bet favor. It shall open doors. It shall bring abundance to your table. Not only to you, many people shall come under your tree and they shall be covered by that, by, by, by the blessing that is in, in your cover. In the name of Jesus. It is a Amen. new dawn. Prosper. In Jesus Christ's name, I have prayed. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
ati aye tutun a ki yo si ranti awon ti isuwaju yo sugbon ki eyin ko yo ki inu yin dun ti emi o da tori kesi si emi o da Jerusalem ni bibi won nibe ti won po won won e o je so won won ki o ko le fun elomiran lati gbe ojo awon eyan mi ori awon eyan fe yo si ti ba se won won ki o si se lasan won ki o bi mo fun wahala tori awon eni ru alubukun oluwa ati omo pelu won yo si se ki won ko to pe emi o down ati bi mo ti soro lowo emi o gbo ikoko ati ogo dagbon yo ju mo je po kini u ki ki o si je koriko bi ako malu erupe ni o je o je ju won ki o pa ni lara tabi ki won pa ni run ni gbogbo oke mi mo mi ni oluwa wi e ma lo ni alaafia e lo e wonu anu olorun lo anu olorun tin gbe ni kuro ninu egun tin gbe ni kuro ninu wahala tin gbe ni kuro ninu ipanju anu olorun tin gbe ni soke anu olorun tin fowo agbara re fani goke anu olorun tin fun ni ni isegun anu olorun tin so eyan lati je un pelu awon malade anu olorun to ma so eyin papa di awon ma lade eni ti gbogbo eni eni ti e gbogbo eyan yo ma wa ri owo agbara olorun yo fa yin goke itumo yo wo ni aye yin bi e ti lo loni e o ba olorun pade owo olorun yo so yin da segun e o ni je alai ni mo e o ni toshimo ola oro ibukun ati pupo yo ba yin gbe oju anu olorun yo ro si ile yin ile yin yo su omi jade yo su omi anu gbogbo su te ni ninu waju oluwa ko oluwa ko ni doju ti yin igbagbo ki o joju ti yin olorun yo fese yin mule e o so mo ninu igbala re o ri ofe jesus christ oluwa wa ife mo ti olorun idapo ti emi mimo ko ma ba yin lo ke je eni ibukun ke je eni alaafia aisan ko ni ko ni gba yo yin iku ko ni mu yin kuro ninu ogo yin e lo ka ni so ogo fun olorun ninu aye yin ogo fun olorun loke orun jesu oluwa wa ami 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 loruko jesu Truly, in the midst of regression, there shall be progression for us all in Jesus' name. We want to bless the name of the Lord for our minister that he has used mighty, mightily today. I want to thank God for the life of our father, the shepherd. We want to also encourage us all to like our social media pages so that we can spread the gospel of when Mercy speaks. We want to encourage us all to invite friends and families to be partakers of what the Lord is doing here. We also want to encourage us to send our testimonies to the email testimonies at cnsyf.org or to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. We can also send our testimonies via direct messages to all our social media platforms. We also want to encourage us to check all our social media handles so that we can consume content that would edify our spirit man and we can hold on through throughout the day and the period of this season. With that being said, I would like to wish us a wonderful day. May the Lord mercy be with us now and always. I your new.